Hello everyone and welcome to this reading. So we're going to do a pick pile reading, a message from your angels, your guardian angel, any archangels watching over you. We're going to bring in five powerful decks of cards and I'm going to use my messages from heaven deck as well, which the guy we need to grab right now and the meet the angels so we're going to use seven decks of cards so we're going to bring in meet the angels because this deck will show you what angel is around you right now other than your guardian angel we're going to bring in the messages from heaven to bring some angel messages in for you we're going to bring in the true love reading cards to give you some guidance about your love life the saints and mystics cards we're going to bring in the oracle of shadows and light the angel reading cards and the guardian angel reading cards. So this is a big message today from your angel. So what do you need to know? So we're going to use three angels and three piles. So you've got a choice. We've got angel one, we've got angel two and angel three. So I'm going to shuffle the cards, go where you're guided to go. So I like to shuffle the cards on camera so you can have input to that. So perhaps set the intention right now. What do you need to know? You know, what are you asking about? Are you asking about work or personal journey or your love life or your life purpose? What do the angels want you to know? So thank you, angels. What guidance have we got, please, for pile one? Who's around pile number one right now and why? Who's around pile number two? Who's around pile number two, please, angels? And who's around pile number three? Wow, look at that for jumping out. Very, very powerful. So we've got pile one, two and three and we're going to do the messages from heaven. So what do we need to know, please, angels, for pile number one? Look how it jumped out there. Very powerful. Pile number two. Who's around pile number two? Straight out there. And who's around pile number three? Wow. Now with the cards, because it's part of my gift, I just kind of know. So, you know, with these jumping out here, they're coming out for a reason. So there is a lot of cards. They're coming out for a reason. And the pile of one jump right across the room. So let me just grab that card. I'm going to have to come out this way and get it. Bear with me a sec. Yeah, I'd rather do this and you guys see me authentically shuffling the cards than me saying, oh, okay, these are the cards and, you know, you have input into it then. So let us continue. So pile number one, what do you need to know? Pile number one, there it is. Pile number two. What do we need to know for pile number two, please, angels? And pile number three. There we go. And what do the angels want to say to you for pile number one? What messages are coming through for pile number one? For pile number two, what do we need to know for pile two? And for pile number three. There we go. Is that one at the back as well for pile three? And we've got pile one. What guidance is coming through for pile number one? So you're already going to be getting a sense of, you know, where to go and what pile to watch. But remember, if you are guided to more than one pile, take what resonates. Go where you're guided to go. You're in control of this reading because this reading is for you. So what do we want to know, angels, for pile one? Look how they're jumping out the deck. Very beautiful. Okay. Pile number two, what do we need to know? And pile number three, what's going on, please, with pile three? beautiful and last pile what do we need to know please for pile number one for pile number one there we go for pile number two what's coming through for pile number two straight out there and that one okay those cards there yeah and pile number three what do we need to know please for pile number three look how they're jumping out the deck very beautiful okay so I'm just going to move all these cards out of the way so we've got some room. So we've got pile one, pile two and pile three. So let's put these all together. Then. So we've got pile three, we've got pile number two and we've got pile number one. So the angels have got a lot to say to you today. It's taken me four minutes to shuffle those cards. So one, two and three. So when you're ready, pick your pile. Okay, let's do this. So I'm going to move these piles out of the way. We're going to start with pile one. So pile one, we've got this beautiful angel that's sitting on a book. So this is a big sign of wisdom. So you're on a journey right now of understanding. You're gaining wisdom. You're gaining knowledge, power. So you may see owls at this time. And 
There may be some decisions to make in your life, contemplation. Maybe your person has got decisions to make in their life. But collectively, you're going through some changes and you're gaining wisdom as to what they are. So the angels around you, well, look at this. We've got the universe and Jesus around you. Very powerful. So you may have a big connection right now with the universe. Maybe you're working with the law of attraction to manifest your dreams or you're connecting with Jesus. You know, maybe, you know, you talk to Jesus constantly or you feel his presence in your life. So the universe is saying to you, I always have your back. So you're realizing more and more on this journey that you are safe, that you are protected, that everything is happening for you to grow you. So the universe is saying to you today, I have your back. There's no need to fear, worry or doubt because all is well. And Jesus is saying to you, I help you to embody the power of unconditional love. And that's also a lesson that you are learning on this journey, whether you are a twin flame or you're tapping in with your spiritual like, gifts and powers, you are the embodiment of unconditional love. And what that means is you are learning to let go of conditions. You're learning to let go of control and realize that in this universe that has your back, everything is beautiful that everything flows wonderfully and all is well. So that's the big message coming through to begin with, that all is well. There's nothing to fear. You are safe. The universe has got you and you've got this. Very beautiful. We've also got Archangel Metatron. And Archangel Metatron is the angel of divine time. So he's the angel who says to you, you can trust the process of your life. All is well. Everything is in divine time. There's nothing to fear. It says, I'm helping to balance your chakra system. So right now you're going through this powerful time where you are growing and learning and evolving and gaining all the wisdom you need and all the resources you need. And because of that, your chakra system is being balanced. It's being aligned. So you may also be going through ascension symptoms at this time. You may find that you can't tolerate certain things like you did before certain beverages or foods or situations or you know the things you're taking in may be a lot different than you were taking in six months ago or last year or you know a decade ago so the angels are reminding you that you're always evolving you are changing to embody the power of unconditional love because you are a being of light and because you are a being of light you are radiating in the light so your vibration is shifting and your chakra system is being aligned to kind of accommodate that so a lot of power going on within you so if you are having any tingles in your chakras or you know you're having any ascension symptoms it's because things are healing so call an archangel metatron connect with jesus remember the universe has got you you're working with the law of attraction right now to bring in what you need so a lot of healing going on in your life yeah look at this we've got maturity and look what she's doing there She's sitting down and she's actually writing or she's looking at some documents. And again, we've got the wisdom. So you're becoming more spiritually mature than you've ever been before. Now, maturity could mean you may be getting on in years. So you may be more mature physically. But I'm really feeling this is more about spiritual maturity, about being guided. You know, you've got this beautiful presence here of God behind you. And I'm feeling this as Jesus watching over you, your connection with the creator, with God, with the universe, the higher power. So this is so much more than just angels around you. You know, you know that you have the creator all around you and that you are safe, that you are never alone. I feel there's a lot of healing going on, especially in the back area. Okay, connected with stability. So, you know, the, the chakra system they show me is, you know, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, um, they show me, you know, the solar plexus maybe, but all of these, this area from perhaps, you know, the, the throat chakra right down, it's like all healing, I mean, all your chakras are aligning, but it feels like if you have been having any back issues, it's going to get better, you know, you're being guided to sit up straight, to know your truth, to remember your power, and you're gaining all this wisdom, especially about twin flames, you know, so you possibly are a twin flame. Most people are that tap in with these readings. You're learning about the twin flame journey because I'm seeing the candles there as the collective energy. So you're gaining strength, resources. Maybe it's part of your journey right now to help others. 
and you know you're sitting at this desk here writing writing down your feelings writing down your thoughts helping others in some way you could be channeling information you know you could be recording a video you could be you know writing a book but you're definitely channeling energy and that's coming from the creator so you're being reminded from heaven today how powerful you are and we've also got Confucius wisdom. Wow, it's all about wisdom. And look at this, we've got 21. So in 2021, you are gaining wisdom. You are gaining power. You are gaining strength. And look how mature he is again in this, this card. You've got the beard there signifying wisdom. So I am feeling Archangel Raziel, the psychic angel around you too. And Raziel is like the Dumbledore of heaven. You know, he's the one who kind of helps you on your pathway. So, you know, he doesn't exactly tell you what to do. He gives you the resources you need to understand what you need to do. And that's what Dumbledore does. He guides Harry. You know, he doesn't kind of sit to Harry down and teach him. He guides him. He shows him the way. He gives him snippets of wisdom every now and again. So this is your power. This is your guide. And I feel Confucius is coming through here to show you that you are receiving so much power within you from the resources you are receiving it from or the places you are receiving it from. Because some of you will tap in with Jesus. Some of you will tap in with the universe. Some will tap in with the energy of the earth or Mother Earth or, you know, your guides, your ancestors. Anyone you're connecting with, maybe Confucius himself. And it's happening now in 2021. We've also got Violet Duchess, stifled, bored and stuck. So it feels like there's been a big shift in your life between 2018 and now 2021. Because maybe in 2018 you felt stifled, you felt bored, you felt stuck. And now in 2021 you're feeling much better. Because you're gaining so much wisdom and clarity and power in your life. So this has been a significant transition between 2018 and 2021. So three years of power where you've been finding yourself gaining strength, gaining wisdom. And they're also showing me the white hair in this card too, or the grey hair. So again, it's about power, wisdom, maturity, finding your way, understanding yourself. And Violet is about the amethyst energy, the violet flame, finding your way as a twin flame, as you know, a psychic being. And if you are still feeling bored or stifled or stuck, the angel is saying right now you're gaining all the wisdom and knowledge you need to move yourself forward. So it won't be stuck for long, things are changing. We've got the angel of white light, this is beautiful, and this is the number one, and one is signified with a new beginning. So this is showing you your new beginning is ahead. You've been surrounded in white light. You've been surrounded in protection. And I'm tapping in with Archangel Honiel here. The angel of peace, the angel of grace. Holding you in power. Helping you to feel safe, to feel loved, to feel protected. To feel more at peace. You know, to surround yourself. So the angel of white light, whoever you're connecting with, because you may significantly know straight away who that is connected with you. You know, that could be Archangel Honiel, could be your guardian angel, it could be Archangel Metatron, it could be your mum or dad in heaven or someone in spirit watching over you. But this card is saying to you that you are surrounded by angelic white light and that white light will not only cleanse you and heal you, but it will protect and guide you so you are safe. So visualise yourself kind of surrounded by white light and you'll feel better. And we've got the angel of clairvoyance and this is the number nine. So one of your spiritual gifts right now is to see your third eye opening to your clairvoyance. And amethyst crystal or the violet energy in this card is also about amethyst. And I've got some amethyst here because, you know, when you pop it on your third eye or you hold it in your hand, it brings in cleansing and it helps you to open up and see. So your clairvoyant psychic ability is getting stronger. You know, you're seeing the truth, you're understanding. So it's not just about seeing angels or seeing spirits. It's about seeing the truth. And that's what I'm feeling. You know, you're looking through the illusion. So you're making sense of things on a much deeper level. Whereas before, you may have been really tapped in with the matrix. And, you know, I feel that was kind of the energy around you in 2018. Even if you were awake at that time, 
you know, you may still have been paying attention to fears and illusion and doubts and obstacles and delays, whereas now you see it from a much higher, bigger, stronger perspective. And the angel of clairvoyance is all around you. And this is obviously Archangel Raziel, you know, helping you to see. That's why your chakra systems are changing and aligning because things are happening for you. And we've got the angel of travel. And I really feel this is Saint Christopher around you, you know, saying to you, wherever you go, whatever you do, wherever you travel to, you are safe and protected. So there may be travel in your future and you know, your journey is protected, you are the lighthouse, you are a guide, the muse, and I feel the more you tap in with your psychic powers, the more you'll be able to travel and see, so you're going to be sharing your gift with the world, but you can also do this from home, you know, you travel to other people's home through the internet, and through dreams, we've got astral travel flowing up here as well, maybe that's something you're interested in, you know, lucid dreams, that kind of thing, realizing what the 5d is all about meditation connecting in that way but you are also a traveler you are here as a sacred traveler on this journey of life you know to experience new things and find your way so you're evolving growing and changing every step of the way and you're looking up you know you're looking up for answers you're receiving them you're seeing the signs you're seeing the synchronicities the sun is shining you're being guided so wherever you go, as you travel around your life, whether that's, you know, the, the life you were living or really going out and traveling the world, you are safe and protected and you've got the rainbow there. We've also got Big Ben. So, you know, we've got Paris there as well with the Eiffel Tower. So there may be connections to London. There may be connections to Paris or France there. You know, they're showing me like far off places, connecting with other people you know, knowing your truth, finding your way, and we've also got the showing me birds and leaves, so I feel autumn as, as well is going to be very powerful for you to travel or movement or change, trust that things are being lifted at the right time, and we've got the angel of Claire audience, wow, and this is a number 10, so you may be seeing 1010, that's reminding you of your power, so we've got archangels coming through to you, saying to you that you are a psychic being, so you know, you're starting to see your third eye is opening. You pay more attention with your spiritual sight than your physical sight. And you're also being tuned in through the ears. So you're becoming more clairaudient too. So you're becoming aware of vibrations, sound vibrations, songs, music, messages through things you hear. You may get ringing in the ears as your ear chakras tune in and align. So a lot of healing going on. I also feel as you fall asleep at night, there's whispers coming to you. So this could also be your angels speaking to you, your guides, your loved ones. Could be a message from your twin flame, you know, singing you to sleep or healing you as you fall asleep. So there's some deep healing coming in in the sleep time, you know, knowing that you are not alone, that you are safe. I feel this could also be like a mother or a sister or, you know, a friend or someone in spirit kissing you good night you know letting you know that you are not alone that you're always protected this is also your higher self being all around you whispering to you so you know your higher self is guiding you too and we've got the angel of nature and this is 13 so look is on your side right now you've got the beautiful ladybug or ladybird there showing you that what you're asking for is coming true it's a great time of magic for you manifesting your dreams letting go of fear thank you any fears you're having go out in nature and this is archangel ariel all around you saying to you you know go in nature it will calm your energy it will help you to feel at peace to feel safer to go with the flow to tap in with the elements of who you are water earth fire air tapping in with your true self and we've got the angel of clarity number five so changes are happening in your life that will lead to clarity, understanding, you've got the yellow butterfly there, so changes, you're not alone as you walk through your life, you're being shown the way, you're being guided, you're gaining wisdom, you're gaining clarity and understanding, and we've got the angel of encouragement, so when you've seen 11, or 11, 11, or 1, 1, 1, you are being encouraged to continue, to keep going, so this is a message from heaven saying to you, don't give up because 
you're about to win the race. You know, whatever you're asking for, whatever you are wanting, whatever intention you are setting, you are nearly there. And I also feel this is a big sign for Twin Flames that your masculine is running towards you. And this really makes sense, you know, with today's Daily Twin Flame reading as I do this in real time, because the masculines are further ahead on the journey than you think. So victory will be yours, you know, surrender. When you throw your hands up in the air and surrender, you feel good, you feel safe, you feel more at peace. And you have nearly won this race. The angels are reminding you of that. So right now you're gaining all the strength, wisdom, knowledge, everything you need to move forward. You are protected and loved. I hope that helps. Have a great day sending you so much love and I'll see you soon. Wow. Pile two. So you've chosen this beautiful angel holding a star. So you're being reminded with the star to shine, to shine bright like the star that you are, to be the star of your own show, to take control, to take back your power. So you may be seeing the numbers 1010 10 at this time to remind you of your power and to take back your power, to not give your power away to anyone else because you are strong. And look at this, we've got the creator coming in for you. You are loved and you are safe. So there's nothing to fear and that you are a creator. You are the creator of your reality the star of your own show, take back your power, that's really the message coming through very strong, that's why it's repetitive, so the angels are saying to you, you have the power to manifest your dreams, you have the power to create and change your life, it's what you think about that you bring about, and it's all in your hands now, so imagine in your hands, there's a ball of energy, or a ball of white light, and you're creating that into what you want it to be, you know, you're manifesting it with your intention and your thoughts and your feelings and your emotion. And you are molding it and sending it out into the universe to come back to you fully manifest in the physical world. So you are a creator and the creator of your reality and the creator of the earth, the universe, the heavens is saying to you, you are safe. We've also got Archangel Honeyell around you. I help you to find inner peace. So you're finding inner peace right now. You're on a journey to take back your power. So if you've been giving your power away to others, whether that be to your twin flame, you know, to a family member or a boss or a colleague or someone who may be bringing in negative feelings within you or negative emotion, this is the time now to take back your power, to find your inner peace, to know your truth, to remember your worth and honey L will tap you into that. And we've got Archangel Sandalphon, I am assisting with music. So you are receiving answers to your prayers in music. You're receiving guidance from your twin flame in music. So you're being assisted with music. Maybe you are a mu musician and you're creating music or lyrics or you need a hand with something and Sandalphon is right by your side. So he's answering your prayers and you're receiving answers through music. Archangel Michael is saying to you, you are safe. And that's why so many of these cards jumped out because it feels like you're in a limbo right now or you're after finding balance or you know, you, you're after reassurance or validation that all is well. So to get the creator coming through, first of all, saying to you that you are loved and safe is powerful. But to get Michael coming through too, the Thor of heaven, you know, the warrior of heaven saying to you, you are safe, believe it. So whatever you've been stressing over or worrying about, put it behind you. Give it to heaven. Archangel Sandalphon is saying to you, I have heard your prayers and I am assisting with music. So you may have songs today that show you you are loved, you are safe and that there's nothing to fear. We've got Archangel Raphael. I can help you to heal others. So if you're worrying about someone else right now, someone else's heart healing or their physical body, Archangel Raphael, the healer of heaven, the divine physician of heaven is saying to you, I can help you to heal. This is also a big sign of your healing properties or your healing talent, that you are a healer like him and he will help you to heal yourself and others in whatever way you are guided to, whether that be through tools like crystals or, you know, helping the world through your voice. It could be your hands are healing or your ears listening, tapping in with who you are. 
And Archangel Raziel, the psychic angel, is saying to you, you are more powerful than what challenges you. And I love that because you are bigger than any trigger and you are tougher than any challenge. And you are more powerful than what challenges you. So this is why you may be seeing the number 10. And that's why at the beginning, the angels are saying to you, shine bright like this star that you are because you have power and you are more powerful than you think you are. You are stronger than you think you are. So take back that power, harness that power and know your strength and know your weaknesses. So if something is making you feel weak, see that as powerful because anything that you see as a weakness is really a strength because that's something you are healing and working on. You're becoming powerful. Anything you see as a vulnerability has power. And Archangel Orion is saying to you, ask and it is given. So this is reminding you as a creator of your reality, that you create your dreams, that you create your life by molding it into what you want it to be. And Orion is the angel of, you know, kind of manifesting and creating your dreams. He's like the genie in heaven answering you, saying to you, ask and it is given that your wish is my command. What do you desire right now? We've got Jesus coming through. Believe in the power of love. So see how you keep getting that word power. Take back your power. Know your power. Trust in the power of love. So if you're doubting your twin flame journey or your love life or, you know, you're doubting being in a relationship, trust in the power of love. It will set you free. It will bring in everything you want. And Jesus helping you with this. And Archangel Sandalfin, listen to the songs you receive. So there's definitely messages and songs and signs coming to you through music. The music that you hear, the lyrics that resonate with you, the way the song taps into your heart and taps you in with the way you feel. You know, when it hits you in the feels, you're going to receive messages and music. And Archangel Uriel saying to you, allow yourself to feel the truth. And this is a feeling universe. It's all about the way you feel that connects you with heaven and makes it all real. So allow yourself to feel. It's not a weakness, it's a strength. Archangel Jeremiah, you were ready to let go of the past. And he is the angel that guides you on the right path, guides you towards your next steps on your journey, shows you where to go, directs you what to do gives you insight and guidance and inspiration and he's saying to you you're ready now you're ready for a new start you're ready for a fresh chapter you're ready for a new beginning and Gabriel's saying you can do this giving you the power to stand strong in who you are to know your truth to know your worth to be the warrior that you were born to be and I'm feeling Joan of Arc energy with this here. So you can do this. Whatever you think you can't do, you can. Because you are stronger than you think. You are bigger than any trigger. You are tougher than any challenge. And you are a fighter and a warrior of love. And Raphael saying to you, you are safe. So not only have you got the creator saying to you that you are safe. You have two of the big guns of heaven saying to you that you are safe. Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael. So you are safe and protected as you walk through your path of life. Your body is safe. You will be safe everywhere you go when you trust. And we've got here Archangel Uriel, I am lighting the way. So do you see why so many of these cards jumped out? Because they're all showing you your way is lit. Everything will be okay. There's nothing to fear that you are safe, so stand strong and be the lighthouse because that's what guides you where you're meant to go and guides your twin flame home. And Archangel Uriel is illuminating you to this truth. And Archangel Samuel saying to you, what you are seeking is seeking you. You're being guided. You can't ever miss out on anything that's truly meant for you. So let go of fear. Let go of doubt, let go of worry, thinking that you've missed an opportunity or you've missed a chance or things aren't right because they are. You're exactly where you're meant to be and your guardian angel will always be with you. So you're never alone. You know, even when you think you are alone, you are not because no matter what's happening outside of yourself, you are protected 
and your guardian angel was born with you and will be with you all through your life even when you're not calling on them because the archangels they're assisting you because you're asking they're assisting you because you need them your guardian angel is there unconditionally anyway loving you anyway even if you don't acknowledge your guardian angel throughout your lifetime it doesn't mean they aren't there your guardian angel is right by your side and if you want to connect with your guardian angel speak to them and if you want to know how to do that go to the playlist meet the angels and watch the video on the guardian angel edit so your guardian angel is right by your side and jesus is saying to you be kind to yourself so jesus you know jesus you know how powerful is jesus saying to you be good to yourself be kind to yourself and love yourself and love one another as i have loved you so be good to yourself today be kind to yourself and gabriel saying stand your ground so you've got some powerful angels here really helping you to move forward to feel safe to feel strong to feel at peace especially if you're dealing with a soulmate because a soulmate and there isn't a twin flame card in this particular deck so this could be a twin flame soul connection so if you're dealing with your twin flame right now the angels are reminding you of the power of the soul and the power of the love and to know that everything is as it's meant to be and if you're dealing with a soulmate or a soul teacher so that could be a karmic energy you know someone in their life that's kind of seems to be maybe delaying things or maybe you're with a soul teacher or you've been learned something right now it's teaching you what you need to know on a soul level to grow you to help you to transform into this beautiful butterfly and we've got saint joseph saying divine creation wow so you're being reminded that you are a divine creation that you are perfect and divine as you are and that you're evolving every single day becoming who you were born to be and maybe the name joseph means something to you they show me as well like joseph and the technical the dream coat so dreams dreaming big knowing your power i feel you may be having prophetic dreams or having very vivid dreams that show you a preview of things to come because you are a divine creation and this is also a big sign for anyone who wants a child or is dreaming of having a child that this is possible for you that this beautiful kind of angel or saint here is coming towards you offering you a child here there's going to be an opportunity to bring life into the world and we've got eclipse mermaid a powerful energy shift and look what it is number 10 and this is what i felt right at the beginning so I do feel you're going to see the number 10, 10, 10. October could be powerful for you. We've just had a total eclipse too. But this is about things shifting and changing. And that you're being reminded of your power. And mermaids are super powerful. You know, so you could also be a water sign or have water energy within you. But this is showing you, okay, whoever you are, whatever sign you are, whatever you're going through, things are shifting and turning around but you must believe and know that you are safe and we've got the number 30 angel of truth and it feels like for you 30 was or will be a pivotal age so you may be over 30 you may be 30 now you may be coming up to 30 big message about that age being significant to your journey so even if you're in your 60s or your 70s look back and think what you went through when you were 30 because that was a big part of your journey but the message for you in this card is the truth is coming out you've been shown the way and i feel if you're a twin flame then your masculine right now is being healed and is growing up and finding answers and is more further forward on their journey than you think that they are and we've got that powerful eagle there for manifesting your dreams so another sign you are creating that you are manifesting that you're taking steps forward that things are falling into place and we've got the angel of romance with the number 16 so this is showing you here that the dreams you had at 16 you know maybe at 16 you thought oh you know i wish i could have my happy ever after you know even at 16 you wouldn't have been aware most likely of your twin flame journey maybe some of you were aware of that 
but most of us weren't aware of things like that at 16, sweet 16, you know, we were either sweet 16 or we were a rebel at 16, I know I was a rebel at 16, but you were learning and growing and maybe you got hurt, you know, they're giving me the song, um, the, the tears at 17 aren't real, they're only dreams. So this is a reminder, whatever you go through along the way, whatever heartbreak you go through, it makes you stronger. And it's nothing like you're experiencing in your twin flame journey. You know, this is about truth and power and understanding. And that romance is, is coming into your life. That you deserve romance, that you deserve love, and you deserve romantic love. So this is definitely a sign for you to let go of fear, to let go of doubt, to let go of the illusion, and to understand that it is a coming together, that everything you've ever been asking for, for romance, for love, for friendship, for power, it's all going to flow into your life in divine timing. And you're on a journey, a journey to union a journey to success, a journey to what you want. And the angel of detoxification is saying between 2016 and 2022, you've been going through a huge transformation, a huge energy shift, and you've been detoxing yourself from the past. You've been detoxing your body from what's not serving your body. You've been detoxing your mind from negativity and fear. So you've grown so much. So it feels like this is a big year coming up for you. So 2022 is going to be pivotal, pivotal for your, your life purpose and for what you're bringing in. And 2022 is about mission. So I feel you're going to be moving now towards your mission. And the angels are showing this to you. So even if you feel a bit lonely right now, it's because you're detoxing things, you're healing, you're growing, you're working towards what you want. And we've got the angel of past issues, and this is 23. So this is saying to you, you're releasing the past, things are healing. And it's very powerful because between now and 2024, we're moving into the golden age. So this isn't necessarily about your twin flame journey. This is about your journey to the golden age that you're feeling better, you're surrendering, you're in your power, you're realizing that everything that you've been through in the past has been a stepping stone to where you are now. You're looking back and you're smiling at the past because you know it's made you who you are. You're healing the past, you're growing from it, you're feeling stronger. And this beautiful blue, I mean, this is kind of, they show me this like blue butterflies as a transformation and a healing. But this is also about releasing the past, letting go, forgiveness, trust, and power. And we've got the angel of grounding, okay? So you're being grounded right now, going in nature, going outdoors, all the elements coming into your life, standing up when you get knocked down, knowing your truth, meditation, yoga, okay? going in the wilderness, going up mountains, and going on some form of retreat, vacation, going into the woodland, going into the unknown, finding your way and the angel of past lives, and this is 24, so again, we've got all of this energy moving you into the golden age, and we've got the twin flame energy, they're giving me 111, and the 1111 energy, believe, have faith in your journey, trust the doors are open for you, that you're finding answers, you're realizing that your past is gone, and it's made you who you are, you may be very interested in past lives, or you may be a healer of past lives, and that's going to be part of your purpose. But whatever you go through in the physical world, you will be comforted and you are safe and you are supported and you are not alone. And I feel this is a big sign of you and your twin flame coming together, a big sign of a spiritual, loving, romantic relationship that's coming in now. And it's showing you this. They're also giving me the number six here because obviously this is what's coming into your physical world. It's what's coming in for you now. It's what you're being shown. This could also be a big sign about six six days, six weeks, six months, six years. But I am feeling six months for you to feel comfortable, to feel at peace. And that would take us into the beginning of 2022, you know, moving into that energy. So I feel as you move forward on your journey, you're going to feel stronger, more in your power. You're going to be embracing your solitude and time alone because you're understanding that when you are together with your person, 
when you are in a relationship, when you are in union, it will be better than ever before. And it's the isolation and the times with you learning you, learning self-love and self-care and who you are and understanding the past that has made you who you are, ready for what's to come. So a beautiful message for you, mainly that you are safe, protected and strong, that you are safe, so shine bright like the star you are and allow the universe to take care of the rest. I hope that helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Wow. Pile three. So you've chosen this beautiful angel with the heart and the heart says hope. So have hope about your future. Have hope about your love life, about better things to come. And they're making me do that. So I feel you're sweeping away the past. Things are being healed around you. And yeah, look at this. We've got Archangel Raguel. I help to restore harmony and balance in your relationships. So there's definitely a big heart activation going on here. Raguel is the angel that brings you guys together, that restores things. So any challenges or obstacles are now being removed to move you where you're meant to be. You know, this is a big sign about reunion or a coming together. The way being made to make the way to bring you together with everyone you need to be with. So this could be a coming together for twin flames, bringing together like-minded people, leading you where you're meant to go, showing you the way, guiding you forward in your career and in your spiritual practices and in your purpose. We've got Archangel Metatron. I assist with divine timing in your life. So your life is in divine timing. So I feel that you could be learning patience right now. That could be one of your main lessons to trust the journey of your life, to trust in divine timing in your life and to know that you are safe and that harmony is being restored and it is flowing in. So you may be feeling a lot more at peace now than you have before. And this is because of forgiveness. So Mary Magdalene is all around you guiding you to forgive, to help you to heal, to let go. I help you to forgive and heal the past. So she is helping you to forgive the past and heal the past with the power of divine timing. And Raguel is bringing in clarity and understanding of why things have happened the way they have. So you're gaining more insight into your journey. You're feeling more at peace with yourself and your journey, finding the answers, bringing in this powerful energy of healing and truth. And we've got Archangel Gabriel, I bring good news. So there's definitely good news coming into your life. Something you've been waiting on for a while is moving towards you. Again, that could be your twin. It could be an opportunity. It could be restoring a family situation or a friendship. Bringing things together. Mending bridges. Healing the past. Restoring what was gone. And Archangel Honiel, I am helping you to find inner peace. So you're finding your truth, you're finding your centre, you're finding love in your life, no matter what the outside circumstances. You're learning to embrace your life, to love your life, to find your truth. And Zachiel, I am helping you to remember, to remember who you are, to remember why you've come, to remember what you have known all your life, to go within and harness your psychic talents and your spiritual awareness. And we've got the distorted masculine and the divine masculine. Wow. So I feel this is a big message here of heart healing. Again, what's distorted is being healed. What's broken is being made whole again. So this is a big sign here of your divine masculine's transformation. Maybe you're experiencing divine masculine energy. You could be a divine masculine tapping in with this reading and it's showing you that you were doing the work. But for most people tapping in, this is showing you that whatever feels distorted, whether that be your twin, your twin flame journey, something in your life, it's now being restored and healed with balance and truth. So there's power flowing in, sunshine. Again, we've got this powerful time, you know, the time, the watch there, let go of the when, let go of the how, you know, let go of the if and trust it will be. And you're going to start by dating. Again, romance, see a power, you deserve this love. So this is a big sign about your person moving towards you. Things aligning for you. Your masculine saying to you, I am healing now to be able to be the man or woman that you deserve. To be able to come to you with an offer. To propose something to you. 
to take you out into the world, to be able to go into the unknown, to show everyone this connection. So this is a big sign about your love life getting better, relationships improving, the opportunity to date and get to know each other and spend time together. And St. Valentine, Valentine here, divine love. So there's definitely this big message about love and romance and dating and power. So this is really powerful. So if you're a single, you know, if you're single on this journey, then someone is being brought into your life to bring balance in. Someone that you can get to know, that you can go on a date with, and you're going to have a Valentine. So I also feel this is a big sign about Valentine's Day, about things to come, power, you know, magic. And even though we're a while away from Valentine's Day, this is about harnessing that energy now. And as I record this in real time, we're in June, and June is all about new love. And it's about new things to love. And that's why, you know, this powerful angel, archangel, you know, we've got Jeremiah coming through as well and Raguel are working together as a team to release fear, thank you, to let go of any fears you have about being alone, about your twin flame journey, about union. Let go of all that, work through that because you're on the right path and you're being guided forward to bring harmony in, to bring balance in so you can meet up again with your twin and date each other and have fun together and be each other's valentine. And I feel this is a big sign that you have a secret admirer, that someone is watching you right now, that you are loved and desired and that there's power there and that there's divine love coming in. So a definite message and sign here for Twin Flames about the future. We've got Dion Fortune, says ceremony, and we've got 22. So I feel in 2022, some of you are going to get married. Okay, not all of you, some of you are because you're going to date now and this is going to move it forward to a ceremony in 2022. And 2022 is the year of mission and power. And I'm feeling that this 22 is also a sign from heaven. So if you're seeing 22, 222, 2222 on the clock, it's about power. It's about ceremony. It's about the universe guiding you. And that you are not alone, that you are in your power right now, that you're manifesting your dreams, that you are creating. Maybe the name Dion means something to you. But this is also about fortune and abundance and power. So opportunities, good news flowing in, preparing you now for 2022. So there's a big ceremony coming in. I also feel for some of you in 2022, you're going to feel super powerful within your career. And within your work life and your spiritual talents and your spiritual practices. So you may have ceremonies, ceremonies in 2022. You know, there may be practices you do every day like gratitude or healing or, you know, blessing your altar or whatever you do to bring in power. We've got, it says, sewer mermaid. Your sensuality is beautiful. So you are a sensual being. You're a very feeling being. And sometimes when you're a feeling being, you're an empath, you know, you take on the sewer of the world. So I feel this about you shielding yourself and remembering to let go of anything no longer serving you. So the sewer is like, you know, the bits that you don't no longer need, you know, wash them away. Like when we go to the loo, you know, we flush the loo and it washes that away that no longer serves us. And this is what I'm feeling that there's a lot of healing going on, especially as we move forward into the golden age. So the angels are very clearly getting across in all three piles, the power of the next few years. You know, we've got 2025 coming in here as well. So you're going to have a mission okay, between now and 2025 to clean things up, to help the world to realize that, that it's beautiful, to help others realize their beauty. And it starts with you. So your sensuality, the way you feel is beautiful. You are an energy feeler, you are an empath, you are a light worker. You are in the world, but not of the world. And we've got the angel of healing, we've got 25 again. So you may be seeing 25, 25, the angel of healing. You're being restored, you're being healed. You may be 25. This may also be a sign about a 25 year cycle. So maybe you're coming up to 50 right now and things are changing. 
or maybe you know the year or you know the name like whatever it is here 25 is significant to you so i'm going to read you from kyle gray's angel numbers book what 25 is saying to you and the number is for you it says your angels want you to trust that all your hard work and commitment will pay off soon you will enjoy the fruits of your labor and i really do feel that and if you've seen 25 25 you know, that's what it's saying to you are mirroring each other. There's a powerful ceremony coming up to be authentic and true and that you are a healer. And I feel this another sign as we move forward that you are healing the world, that you are cleaning up the world. You know, this is part of your mission, part of your life purpose. And I'm not talking about your twin flame. OK, I'm talking about you and your purpose, whether that be your own journey or your twin flame journey. But it's about you being a healer. And the angel is saying to you, you have a journey to heal up the sewage of the world, you know, to clean up what is toxic or what needs to go, which is thinking and thought patterns, the matrix reality. We've also got bullying prevention angel, and this is the number two. So you're helping others to stand up for who they are, to stand up for what they believe in, because you do that too. You know, you don't get bullied or messed around because I feel maybe you could have been bullied in the past. You know, that could have happened at school. It could have happened in a past life. It could have happened at work. But you are learning how strong you are. So whatever that bullying is, in whatever respect it is, you have learned from that. So you're helping others to deal with that. You're helping others to stand strong. I feel Archangel Gable around you very powerfully, helping you to kind of defend yourself to speak your truth so you don't get bullied into things or coerced into things you do what you want to do you stand up for what you believe in your heart may have been broken in the past but you've stood your ground and the angel of procrastination it's showing you that you are thinking about what to do you're using music as a muse to guide you you know listening to music headphones on there being guided what to do and the angel of gratitude is reminding you that you are safe, you're protected, luck is on your side and that gratitude will turn things around. That gratitude will enhance your life, bring in power, help you to be more mindful of things, to forgive, to let go, to appreciate. And that's why we've got archangels coming through here. We've got Metatron, we've got Michael as well. We've got Gabriel coming through. Obviously, we've got Mary Magdalene for forgiveness. And we've got Raguel to harmonize. So gratitude is going to be the harmonizer of your life. The more grateful you are, the better things will be. The more things will happen for you, the more you'll be guided. And listening to guided meditations will guide you what to do, help you to know. And your happiness is ahead. So the angel of happiness. And this is a lot like the ten of cups in the tarot. So you can see there, happy ever after union jumping for joy, feeling good, it's all happening now, they're giving me 15 months, okay, it could be 15 weeks for some, so by, you know, 15 weeks, 15 months, you're going to have everything you want, you know, one and a half years, everything flowing in, and you may think, well, I want it now, but you're still learning, so you can have it now by being grateful for it now, and it will quicken everything up, but the angels are giving you a timeline, saying to you, you know, it's going to all happen. It's happening now. There's power flowing in. Everything you've dreamed of, everything you've been wanting, everything you've been desiring, it's coming in. It's flowing in. It's ahead for you. And you're going to have the life of your dreams, that happy ever after. Your person is going to step up for you. Be selfless. Focus on your purpose. Focus on peace, abundance and joy. Forgive the past, gain a higher perspective, be mindful of others, be compassionate, be understanding and know your truth and everything in your life will fall into place. I hope that helps. Have a great day. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.